So just when we thought we were done talking about the Acolyte, well, <laughs> turns out another story has popped up. Even after the cancellation a few weeks ago was announced, these little tidbits keep popping up. So let's talk budget, shall we? I know budgets are boring, but I'm going to try to make this as exciting as possible. So this is from thatparkplace.com, Jonas J. Campbell. If you haven't checked out his work, check it out. He does great work over there at That Park Place, along with uh, John Trent and, and all the folks at That Park Place. Star Wars The Acolyte real costs exploded to $230 million, according to new tax documents. Say what? I thought the budget was 180. Well... The budget was 180 if you go by British pounds. But if you go by US dollars, it's more like 230 million. Not a surprise because Disney, as they seem to always do with these projects, they underestimate and underreport what the budgets actually are. So for you, those of you out there that are still saying, save the acolyte, we need our show. This is the reason why it was canceled. It cost too much to make. Even more than we originally thought. So here we go. United Kingdom tax documents filed by the Walt Disney Company's UK branch reveal that Lucasfilm and the Walt Disney Company spent over 172 million British pounds. That's $231 million in US currency on the production of The Acolyte. You know that prequel that was set during the High Republic era? Of uh, the Star Wars universe? Now, this contradicts an interview that was done in Vanity Fair some time ago where Leslie Headland, former assistant to Harvey Weinstein, publicly claimed that the show cost $180 million, which roughly came out to about $22.5 million per episode there was eight episodes in the season which everybody including myself assumed that this was 180 million dollars us it is evident that if headland had knowledge of the series financials that she was more likely referring to the mount in british pounds according to the exchange rates at the time of this article this means that the Acolyte cost almost $230 million. And that's American dollars. With eight episodes in the series, that means Lucasfilm under Kathleen Kennedy allowed the budget of the now-canceled show to balloon to $28.75 million per episode. That's a little bit worse than the 22 and a half that we were projecting based on a $180 million budget for eight episodes. Yikes. Also, while failing to attract an audience, UK tax filings for the Acolyte only account for what was spent on the series before September 24th of 2023. So it's possible that this figure might be adjusted as new or additional tax filings surface. Well, you know, remember, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, they underreported that budget by, what was it, $100 million? Oh, wait, that's Marvel. Yeah, but it's still Disney. Show was released on June 4th of this year and failed to register on the Nielsen Top 10 overall chart and only appeared on the Nielsen Top 10 original streaming chart at 488 million watch minutes before dropping off the charts altogether in the show's fourth week. Now, the show did manage to show up again on the Nielsen Top 10 original streaming chart by July 16th when the finale aired, garnering 335 million watch minutes before ultimately being canceled by the Walt Disney Company. So, this much ballyhooed project, remember, it was the touted as the gayest Star Wars ever. <laughs> has now been... 
has now been reported to be more expensive than originally thought. Uh, Leslie Headland would letters later state that the Acolyte failed. It'd be her fault. However, the Acolyte is just another big budget Lucasfilm project that fails to justify the exorbitant spending that Walt Disney does for these projects, whether it be Lucasfilm or Marvel. Bob Iger continues to turn a blind eye to the out of control of creative budgets. According to UK tax filings, Lucasfilm has already spent at least $362 million making Andor. Now, remember... Andor was guaranteed two seasons. That was negotiated up front. Whereas the Acolyte, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, I think even Book of Boba Fett really negotiated to be a season. So getting back to Andor, a show that very few watch, but many see as the best Disney plus Star Wars. Outside of Star Wars, Kathleen Kennedy spent almost $170 million making a Willow reboot, which was subsequently uh, canceled after one season, and now you can't find it anywhere. It's been poofed out of existence because it's a tax write-off. And as of the writing of this article, there's no legal commercial way to purchase or view Willow. Now, down in the comments section, I, I noticed this just real quick as an aside. This person here, Master Avenger, commented, at this point, we have to face the very real possibility that there's some sort of dodgy financial dealings going on here. Yeah, you think? Some kind of money laundering or tax evasion if it gets written off? Internally, they must have known this was a dud. It reportedly had a lot of reshoots. I'm struggling to accept they were willing to lose so much, not just financially, but reputationally and damage to the brand just to support the message. So that, that's, a, that's a good question that, that probably needs to be answered at some point in time. What's going on at Disney? What's going on behind the scenes? What's going on with the, with the books? What's going on with these inflated budgets for these projects? Those are all valid questions. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. I mean, I'm just calling it as I see it here, but I'd be interested to see what all you have to say. While you're at it, while you're commenting, please, if you would, take the time to give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. It's uh, one of the easiest, and, it, and it's free, ways to support the channel and support my endeavors here on YouTube and also over on Rumble. Uh, and if you're new here and you like what I'm doing, give me a little subscribe. While you're at it, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And as always, thank you to everyone taking the time out of the day to watch, both returning viewers and new viewers. And with that, I hope you guys all have a great Wednesday and we will see you later.